All right, you guys, take a look. So the pronoun can be used to replace a noun or nouns. We know that. What is the noun that you're replacing called? We, we just saw it in a video. 10,000 point bonus word right here. What is the noun? James went to the store. He loves candy bars. We know he is the pronoun, but what is what is James, the, what the pronoun is replacing, right? What was that called? The what? Antecedent. Antecedent, right? Do you guys know that? Antecedent. All right, very good. I like the story because it is funny. The noun, listen, this is the, this is the takeaway in, in these directions, so look up here. It says the noun and the pronoun must agree in number, right? Remember they talked about that a little bit? In number, right? Look at this. If the noun is singular, one, and the pronoun must be singular. I, he, she, it, me, him, her. These are all singular, right? If the noun is plural, more than one, the pronoun must be plural. Right, here we go. We, they, us. The pronoun. The pronoun you is both singular and plural, okay? So, how about this one? Uh... How about Jim went to the store? They love candy bars. Does that make sense? No. No, because it's Jim is singular and they is plural. It's got to match, right? So let's look at this first example. I am excited to be in the school play because A is about my favorite book. Or it. The school play is singular, right? All right, I, subject, I'm excited to be in a school play because it is about my favorite book, all right? You guys understand what you're going to do for that? Keep going down the line here. It says, yeah, in the second part, it says, read the sentence, right? If the bold noun and pronoun agree, write yes. If they do not agree, write the correct pronoun. The school play is tomorrow, and I am in them. Uh oh, does that does that agree? No. The school play is tomorrow, and I am in it. All right, you guys know what to do there. Mm -hmm. All right, let's keep going. We're gonna look at nine. Flip your flip your thing over. Flip it over. Flip it over. Here we go. Flip it flat. All right, you ready? The pronoun can be used to replace a noun. That noun it replaces is called the antecedent, right? The boy knew the answer, so he raised his hand. The gender must agree, right? So if the noun is male, he, the pronoun must be male, right? He, him. If the noun is female, she, the pronoun must be female, she, her. If the noun is not male or female, it... The pronoun must be the same. It. Right? Janelle asked Mr. Wilson if... Oh. Blank could give her oral report on Tuesday. Well, at least we know. I, I couldn't tell you if Janelle was a girl or a boy name, but now I read further and used what? Context. On context clues. So, what should it be? Janelle asked Mr. Wilson if... He. Are you serious? Janelle asked Mr. Wilson if blank could give her oral report on Tuesday. She. Okay. What? It's she. It's she for sure because, because it's her. She. It's her. Janelle. Mr. Wilson told Janelle that... She... Huh? She, she. Because she refers to Her. Janelle, right? She refers to. Are right, you guys got it? Let's keep looking at it. Ready? Here we go. On Tuesday, Mr. Wilson called on Janelle and asked him to start. Uh oh. Is that, is that, does that agree? No. What should it be? She no. And her. Yes. All right, you guys know what to do here? All right, you'll work on those. 
then you're going to watch that video and take really good notes on that video. I want to see how you do with your note taking. I want to see what your strategy is. All right. When you're done, you can go back down to reading and do the uh, context clues challenge. Yes, the context clues challenge. Yep. Context clues challenge. And uh, all right, that's it. Get after it. Bye bye.